Black power, black power. This is Underground Warrior TV. I am so deceived. I'm back with another exclusive video. If this is your first time coming in to my channel, man, please mash up the likes, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. I need a thousand subscribers. And also hit the notification button at the bottom so you always be in the crosshairs every time I drop one of these videos. <clears throat> Fam, when I say we at war, I'm not just speaking uh, from some type of conspiracy, um, made up, make believe type of talk. I'm giving it to you raw and uncut. When I say we at war, as, as a people, we are at war with the ruling class of this world, and you don't see it. We at war with each other. We being controlled by this uh, entity that we don't even understand what we're dealing with. So when I say we at war, a lot of people laugh. They tell me I'm being too racist towards people who are white. But the only thing I'm doing is telling you what is right. Racism has nothing to do with this situation when it comes to the truth. I'm just speaking to the truth of the matter, what I see. Now this truth just happens to, to lay with the Caucasian race. They're pathological to hate what's black. And we have been trained to hate ourselves and this is why they succeed at everything they do when it comes to plotting on us. Cause we relaxed, we okay. When I say we at war, I'm a conspiracy theorist. I am a racist when I say black people are at war on, on all four corners of the motherfucking game. Politically, we at war. Economically, we at war. Medically, we at war. Scientifically, we at war. Physically, we at war. Psychologically, we are at war. And we lose it all wars. Because we are being set up to go against ourselves. We had a particular people who look like us. They call the gatekeepers. They make sure we don't rise to the occasion to freedom. So when I say we at war, pay attention. In Buffalo, New York yesterday, a white young man, 18 years old, named Peyton Jendern, I think his name is Jendern, Peyton Jendern, 18 years old, killed. 10 black people they was targeted these black people were targeted based on the color and content of their skin and character this is a hate crime you know they just passed congress just passed some type of hate crime bill for black people but i didn't like it because black uh, white people can only get up to 30 years Anybody that um, commits a hate crime against black people can only get up to 30 years maximum. I don't like that part of the uh, bill. It should be a death penalty. And it should go for police too. 
So this young teenager, race soldier, should have been arrested. The federal government never pays attention to these type of people because they're with these people. If this had been a black kid online, this guy was on Facebook, he was online saying that America belongs only to white people. All non-Christians should be eradicated, should be erased off the planet of the earth. He said, let this target of this supermarket in Buffalo, New York, be a reminder of those who are non-Christian. See, there's a lot of white people with that ideology that run your government. This is why the government doesn't pay attention to hate crimes when they commit it. They know they about to be committed. They don't pay attention. They see it online. They investigate these type of motherfucking uh, situations. So with that being said, man, we at war. You know, a lot of people don't believe we're at war, you know. I'm just speaking at the side of my neck, you know. I guess because I don't do a lot of videos on celebrities and trying to, you know, clout chase celebrities, you know, all on my channel. You know, I don't have 6 9 on my channel, you know what I'm saying? I'm just coming from the gutter, you know what I'm saying? You know, people don't respect that. You know, I can't get a thousand subscribers, it's cool. You know, but I'm gonna keep giving y'all the real, you know what I'm saying? So this white guy, white teenager, 18 years old, drives 200 miles from his little uh, country, little town in New York. And uh, the school that he went to last year had called authorities because he threatened to shoot up the school. So that's a red flag right there. The high school that he went to, he threatened to shoot up the high school. And online he posted all this racial overtones that he used on social media. And he's, he's not being targeted for some type of arrest. He's not being investigated. Here's the killer part to this man, trust me out. My homeboy, my homeboy has an altercation with another man at the filler station. He pulls out his heat and shoot the guy. The police pulls up, they're detectives staking out the scene on another type of steam that happened to be near the gas station. Now the police know that my homeboy, I'm gonna do a, a, a segment on that too. My homeboy didn't have an altercation with the police. The police arrive on the scene, they don't tell my homeboy Hey, put that gun down. You feel me? They just shoot him and shoot him in the head and it's over with. No questions, no interviews from the store people, no nothing. You feel me? A open and shut case. No interviews from the police, nobody. They just killed him at the gas station. You feel me? But this chump, that targeted our brothers and sisters in this supermarket in the black neighborhood. The police convinced this dude inside the store to put his gun down and he was apprehended with no scars, no marks, no nothing. See, law enforcement, they respect white supremacy even when it's done from a, a grassroot level. See, white supremacy in the government is done from a political level. Reparations that black people are supposed to receive from any human being that 
takes another human being through the things that they took us through, they need to repay us. We need compensation. You feel what I'm saying? So with that being said, y'all know that we at war. We are at war on all levels of the game. I tell you, you at war economically, socially, politically, physically, psychologically. Hey, this is Underground Warrior TV, man. Mash up the likes and tell me what the hell's going on, man. We got a motherfucker running around Buffalo, man. You know, it's a whole bunch of motherfuckers like that. And, you know, Trump emboldened all these motherfuckers. So I'm telling my people, stay vigilant everywhere you go. You be going on these vacations around America, be careful. Be vigilant where you go. And you know you got to be vigilant when you fucking with any southern place where no blacks at. You got to be motherfucking careful. So you think you free in America, you ain't paying attention. You know what I'm saying? We ain't paying attention. You know, 10 people lost their lives just because they was black. And y'all tell me we we, we, ain't, we ain't at war. You know, I'm a conspiracy theorist. I'm making all this up. Y'all match up the likes, man. I need a thousand of them, man. Somebody tell their friends, help me out. Shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing these videos, I'm putting in the work. You now from the grassroots, you know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't even took a no speech class or nothing. I'm just doing it from the gutter, man. You know, this Underground Warrior TV, man, I'm gone. Peace.